Great to be back. Should be a good day with the water as high as it is. We're gonna have a time just looking around, see if anything looks anything like last year. Venture around, find that we get some some new um, ideas of where to go, some some different information from different people. We're gonna go check them out and see what we can find today. The wind is raising hell with us today. We're having a problem holding ourselves and staying on course. It blows us all over. We're gonna try pulling some spinners through here. We're marking fish anywhere from 35 to 50 feet. We're gonna try bottom bouncers and spinners and see what that does. Hey, it's a slow day here in Fort Peck, Montana. It's uh, windy. We're uh, just covering some turf, trying to find some fish. Uh, we're finding them, not uh, putting it together as far as making them hit it yet, so that's a cut. Feeling like it could be a better day than yesterday. It's going to be windy, cloudy, cool today. You got them in the net? No. no. Good net job. Yeah, I got him in the boat. Oh, he's coming in, Perry, right behind us. Nice fish. Just outside of rocks, there's a bunch of rocks in here. Going okay today, better than yesterday. That's because Perry's driving. I'm the fish magnet in the boat. Yeah, he's the big fish magnet, <laughs> he thinks. <laughs> We're pulling a combination of lead core and deep diamond crankbaits are running about 18, 19 feet of water, marking fish here in the rubble. They're um, tight to the bottom and we're thinking we're just getting reaction bites off of them, but so far we got three in the box. 16 walleyes in the box so far. The biggest is 29.9. <laughs> we're, we're moving on up the up the side of this uh, point. We're gonna see once what we can find up here. We're, we're gonna give it 45 minutes and we're gonna probably hit about 20 miles west. Boy, he's feisty. Just under 20. That's what we're here for. I gotta get a picture of this. Yeah. Too. Come on, this is what we're here for, kids. Yep. This is it. Bring them swim a little bit. This way to you. There you go. Perfect. Out of girl. Take it off. On, a, on just a hook. There's three red beads. Something that Chuck and I do quite often is just consistently mix it up. And I decided to go with a uh, couple red beads and a leech. We got one heck of a storm coming. We're sitting here, it's sitting, ducks five o'clock, it's gonna, by 4.35 it's gonna hit us. I'm not worried about the one behind us, it's the one coming from the, straight from the west, it looks like it's, could clobber us. Oh, he's getting close. Leroy's corn on the cob, right here, coming at you. Leroy's meat, nothing better than a good piece of meat at the end of the day. Come on in, enjoy us. We're gonna have a little barbecue tonight. And we're styling, folks. And there you have it, the finest meat in town. Get in on it. Did you get yourself a underspin? No, you got them. No, I don't got them for you. <laughs> I told you where they were. I'm not. I'm, I'm not using them. Yeah Let's go.
Lake trout. Oh, there it is. Nice fish. Really oh, nice fish. Woo! Just like absolutely it? smoked that shiver minnow. Woo-hoo! You know, a lot of people think about coming out here and fishing for peck. A lot of it's for walleyes. There's absolutely some giant, giant walleyes out on this system, which we're going to see in the next couple days for the Governor's Cup here. But we are fishing lake trout now, and these fish are pretty tight to bottom, driving around a lot, just kind of looking for the fish, and then just basically hovering on top of them. I got a double, I got a good one on this one. I'll take that one. Yeah, yeah, sure you will. Look how this goes. Finally, finally got a double, and he, I got to hand him off. There we go. Well, I Fort Peck. I finally get to use a mag's rod. Oh, and you got a mag's rod, and you got a nicer walleye. Hey, we definitely need to make a little spin and go back I over that. Cool. I'll tell you what, it is out on the main lake. It is extremely rough today. So we decided to take a little bit of time and uh, you know, kind of goof off a little bit as everybody's fishing the tournament. We're down below the dam. Okay. It's the dredge cuts. Is it definitely can show people that, hey, if you want to come out to Fort Peck and the wind is blowing, you can still go fishing. You don't need to have a, a 22 foot boat. You can come out here with a 16 foot boat and if the wind's blowing, you can definitely fish the dredge cuts. This thing is small. We got 25 mile an hour winds out here and a six foot six inch chop and yeah, we're catching a couple walleyes. Right. Here we go. So deep, that's another decent fish right there. You know the funny thing is, you guys, we just got word from the tournament that we know of already that there is at least five bags over 50 pounds. One team supposedly has 57 pounds. That means them fish had to be, you know, 30 to 31 inches. That's impressive. Again, we're not out there catching them big fish, unfortunately, but tomorrow we're gonna show you guys a lot of these big fish and hopefully that happens again. I'm sure it will. You know what? It's Fort Peck, Montana, home of giant walleyes. You know, we're gonna step into a way boat and see how many fish are actually coming in today. And yesterday, all day, that one was just howling like crazy. So let's see if the, the fish is better today or worse. This is what Fort Peck is doing. Ah, he's got a hold of me. <laughs> Talk about a nut bender. Woo, just smoked that shiver. I'm gonna say big. 18 pounds. Multi packing. 25 pounder. Is it in that, that nice? Yeah, it's a big one. Fort Peck, that's what it's all Great about. Way to right start there. today. Fort Peck Lake Trout. Waking it up. Ooh. Proud to be standing here with Matt from Mondack Marine. Thanks hey, for coming. In the great state of Montana. Hey, I really appreciate you all, you know, inviting us out here. It's the first time I've ever been out to Fort Peck, and it's again one of them destinations where you guys really need to come and check it out. And I'm gonna let Matt, you know, really, because this is your home turf, sure. tell everybody really the great things that Montana has to offer. Absolutely. You know, the first thing, we have some of the best people in the world here in Montana at Fort Peck. Anywhere you go in Montana, you just meet great people. Um, and our resources that we have at our fingertips are phenomenal. It's pretty tough to say that there's better walleye fishing, lake trout fishing, king salmon, landlocked kings or chinooks. 
um, smallmouth. Little sleeper here, you yep. know, lots of big smallies. So when you think about this the tournament alone, you know, I mean, weights that are like yesterday, I think there was five or six weights that were over 50 pounds. Today it's kind of right in there too. The yep. biggest fish yesterday that was caught was 34 inches, and it weighed out at just around 16 pounds. That's that's a monster walleye. That's a cranker anywhere in Absolutely. the country. I'll tell you that. You know. Obviously, you're one of our big warrior dealers. You know, why should a person come and buy a boat from you? Well, I think we do it a little bit different. Um, there's no pressure at all. We just ask what I call qualifying questions to customers. We would love them to buy a warrior from us or one of our other boat lines, but it all comes down to how they fish, right? Right. It's like you said, shooting a bow. You got to shoot them or driving a truck. And if you want to test drive like this 238 or another manufacturer brand that I have, let's go for a ride on Fort Peck. <laughs> Chances will be good that we'll get to experience some waves. Right, um, that's big water, see how so they there's ride. plenty of that, right? So, you know, that's the key. You yeah. know, we just ask good questions and make sure that we get them set up with the electronics that they want to use. Uh, just because you get the latest, greatest electronics doesn't mean you're gonna catch more fish. Right. You gotta be able to use them, but it's the service afterwards that we really pride ourselves on. Hey Matt, I appreciate your time. Thank you for coming Big out. Big time. Hey appreciate everybody, it. again, if you guys are looking, you're out in this part of the country and you're looking for a new boat, especially a Warrior, make sure you guys check out Matt's dealership. I don't know if I told you guys, but this is the first time that I've ever been to Montana in Fort Peck. What an amazing place. Great people, great resources. We will definitely be back there. Hey, I want to thank our Warrior family for inviting us out there this week. What an incredible time we had. No doubt we will definitely be back. Hey, I want to thank all of our military men and women like we do each and every week for the great service that they have given this country and continue to give this country, along with all of our firefighters, paramedics, and no doubt all of our law enforcement agents. Hey, it is a great day to be alive, my friend. And the best part is we're going to see you guys and gals again next week. And thanks for joining us. Nothing like a day without a good piece of corn, right?